So I'm looking through the state of JavaScript survey results from 2020. I did the reaction video you can see above and everything seemed pretty much as you would expect. Uh, GraphQL is really popular. Um, Next is gaining a lot of popularity. Uh, the TypeScript is super popular. People love TypeScript and yeah, it all makes sense. I get down to the backend frameworks and I look through and I see Next.js. Yeah, that's kind of a backend framework. Express obviously been around for a while. Then I keep looking and I see Gatsby. JS, a backend framework, question mark? Anyway, let's talk about that in this video. Is Gatsby a backend framework? So I don't even know where you would really start to define what a backend framework is. In some ways, I feel like the easiest answer is does it run on a server? Um, so I guess like Node itself is a, a backend, it's easy to say like backend language, uh, not really language, backend like um, runtime for JavaScript. So running JavaScript on the server. So anything like running a node in some ways is kind of a backend language, right? So let's start with like the obvious Express.js, right? Mean stack, Mongo, Express, React, or Angular and Node, whatever, like mean stack. If you learn JavaScript backend, you probably learn Express, especially if you're early on, you see tutorials on YouTube or Udemy or whatever, you learn Express and that's kind of the de facto way to run JavaScript web server on a backend to do API endpoints, CRUD routes, serve pages, that sort of stuff. Makes sense. We're probably on the same page there. Now, Next.js is a little bit interesting. Next.js now is this blend of not really running on a true server. It runs in like serverless functions that are running on node, but at least they have a server aspect to them. There's a server side rendering aspect that runs on a server, even if it is serverless function. So Next.js makes sense. Gatsby though, this is a very interesting one. So Gatsby, if you don't know much about Gatsby, it's a framework built on top of React. It is, uh, it is very well geared towards creating or statically generating sites, doing statically generated pages, doing static pages. Now they are not, that's not all they can do, but what they've really made their name for or made their name in, made their name for, um, is doing static sites. So my personal jamesqquick.com page is built with Gatsby. Everything is static. Uh, that means when you go to load one of my pages, it's not having to call a server, which calls a database, which renders HTML and sends it back. That HTML is already there. It already sends it down. So the, the benefit of that is because you go through this build process, you get these static pages that are really fast, they're secure, they're easy to deploy on a CDN, all of that stuff, right? Now, the interesting thing about Gatsby is that actual build process. So the build process, the actual build in Gatsby runs in Node. So it, do, it needs Node to run that build. Now, when I deploy my site, it goes to Netlify Netlify, or it goes to GitHub. Netlify realizes that push, it grabs the source code and in Node on Netlify, it runs a build and then it generates those static pages which are hosted in Netlify. So my question is, is that what people, is that why people associate Gatsby with a backend framework? Because it has a build process that runs a Node because it has no real time Node process. It has no real time server aspect it has no real time backend aspect but it does have the build process which also makes me think if you would consider gatsby a backend framework because of its build that happens in node would that not be the same case for any framework like regular react or Vue or angular or any of those because when those things get pushed a common thing is the exact same thing where it goes to github netlify or some some host will grab the latest version it will run a build and have those assets ready to go so if you consider gatsby to be a back-end framework people who answered the survey this way do you also consider react do you also consider regular view do you also consider regular angular i say angular because i'm not talking about the frameworks built on top of them but you could go the gritsome route with with kind of the statically the static generator static site generator framework on top of you so i don't know i was i was kind of looking at that and i was trying to make it make sense in my head next.js makes sense it actually has a server component things like meteor make sense it's it can be full stack but it really focuses on that back end nest.js is a new one that is really it's a back end like all of these things are back end or at least have a back end component except for gatsby and it really stuck out to me and so i want to know 
or I want you to tell me, do you consider Gatsby to be a backend framework? If so, why? If that's the case, uh, also, what other things do you consider to be a backend framework if you consider Gatsby to one? Anyway, it's a weird thing for me. I'm kind of freaked out by it. I want to know what you think. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video and the state of JavaScript 2020 survey results. Let me know if you found anything else odd that stands out. Anyways, thanks again for checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.